Hey, Python developers. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into something that's going to make your Python coding experience absolutely amazing, installing PyCharm, the IDE that millions of Python developers swear by. And guess what? We're getting the full featured community edition completely free. If you've been coding Python in basic text editors, you're about to discover what you've been missing. Let's jump right in. All right, Python enthusiasts, let's get this powerful tool on your machine. Opening up Chrome and searching for PyCharm. Now here's something important. We want to grab this from the official JetBrains website. Trust me, you don't want to mess around with unofficial downloads when it comes to your development environment. Look at this beautiful JetBrains page. Clicking on the download button to get to the main download section. Since we're on Windows, selecting the XE installer, just a heads up, this download is about 984 megabytes, so perfect time to grab some coffee while Python Magic on Magic downloads to your computer. Fantastic. Our download is ready. Time to bring PyCharm to life. Opening the installer, and here's that sleek welcome screen. This is where the magic begins. Clicking Next because we're ready to transform our Python development experience. Now we're at the installation location screen. You know what's cool? You can actually customize where PyCharm lives on your system. Maybe you have a super fast SSD you wanna use, or perhaps your main drive needs some breathing room. For this walkthrough, the default location works perfectly. So clicking next to continue. Okay, Python lovers, this next screen is where we make some really smart choices that'll save us time later. These installation options are going to make your development workflow so much smoother. First checkbox, add bin folder to the path. Definitely checking this. What this does is pretty cool. It lets you launch PyCharm from anywhere in your terminal or command prompt. It's like giving PyCharm superpowers to be accessible from everywhere on your system. Second option, add open folder project to context menu. This one's a game changer. Check this box and you can right click any folder on your computer and boom, open it as a PyCharm project instantly. Talk about convenient. Third option, py file association. This is essential for us Python folks. This makes PyCharm the default program for all your Python files. Double click any py file and it opens right in PyCharm automatically. Perfect. Clicking next and now hitting install to start the installation process. PyCharm is now installing all its Python development goodness onto your system. This usually takes a few minutes, so I'll speed through this part for you. Yes, installation complete. On this final screen, you'll see an option to run PyCharm immediately. For this tutorial, leaving it unchecked so we can see the proper way to launch our new Python companion. Clicking Finish. Let's fire up PyCharm. Clicking Start, typing PyCharm, and there it is our new Python development environment ready to go. Here comes the first launch. PyCharm is asking us to accept the user agreement, standard stuff for any professional software, checking the box and clicking continue to proceed. Data sharing screen time. PyCharm wants to know if we're okay with sending anonymous usage statistics. Choosing send anonymous statistics here because honestly, this helps JetBrains make PyCharm even better for all of us in the Python community. Plus, it's completely anonymous. Quick pause, if you're loving this step-by-step -step PyCharm setup, hit that subscribe button. We've got tons of Python tutorials coming that'll take your skills to the next level. Windows is asking about network permissions for PyCharm. Clicking allow because PyCharm needs internet access for awesome features like package management, updates, updates, and all those productivity tools that make development a joy. Import settings screen. This is neat. We can import settings from other editors. Since there's Visual Studio Code on this system, importing those settings to get a familiar feel. If you don't have VS Code or want a fresh start, just hit Skip Import. Both paths work great. And here we are, the beautiful PyCharm welcome screen. Look at this interface, clean, professional, and ready for serious Python development. Time to create our first Python project. Clicking New Project, and let's set this up properly. This location field is where good Python project habits begin. Instead of just dumping our project anywhere, let's be organized developers. Clicking Browse and creating a dedicated folder called Python Tutorial. Good organization is what separates hobbyist coders from professional developers. 
now adding hello world to create a specific folder for this project. See how clean this structure is? Future you will thank present you for this organization. Python interpreter, it's automatically detected Python 3.13 because it's already installed on this system. If you don't see a Python version here, no worries. There's a complete Python installation tutorial linked in the description. You can also download Python directly from this screen, but I highly recommend checking out that dedicated installation guide first. Clicking create to bring our project to life. Beautiful. Our Python project is ready to go. You'll notice PyCharm mentions a 30-day trial for pro features, but here's the awesome part. PyCharm Community Edition gives us everything we need for Python development completely free forever. How cool is that? Closing this welcome tab and check it out. There's our Hello World project sitting pretty in the Project Explorer. Time for the best part, writing some Python code. Right-clicking on our project, hovering over New, and selecting Python File. Let's call our file App. Notice how PyCharm automatically adds the .py extension? That's because .py tells our computer this is Python code. Smart, right? Want more coding real estate? We can resize this project panel or hide it completely with this project button up top. Also zooming in with Control and Plus so everything's nice and clear. Here we go, our first line of Python in PyCharm. Print hello world. This simple command is Python's way of saying display this text on the screen. It's the classic first program that connects us to decades of programming tradition. Now for the moment of truth. To run our PyPython program, we can click this run button in the toolbar or use control F5. Ready to see PyCharm and Python working together? Here we go. Look at that. The output console appeared showing hello world. We just wrote and executed our first Python program in PyCharm. This is the beginning of your Python journey with professional tools. You can resize this output area however you like or hide it using these controls on the toolbar. And there you have it, Python enthusiasts. PyCharm is now installed, configured, and ready for all your Python adventures. Whether you're building web applications, working with data science, or creating automation scripts, you now have one of the most powerful Python development environments at your fingertips. Coming up in our next videos, we're exploring Python variables, functions, and building your first real Python application that'll actually do something useful. If PyCharm is now running smoothly on your system thanks to this tutorial, show some love with a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Python content that'll help you become the developer you want to be. And uh, drop a comment, what's the first Python project you're excited to build in PyCharm? Keep coding, keep learning, and remember, every expert was once a beginner. See you in the next one.